Welcome to this week's Sexy Saturday. We're going to talk about polyamory. There's actually even a coach advocating this is how to solve your relationship programs. You need to have a solid relationship if you're going to consider this. So I remember watching Love Line with Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla decades ago. And Dr. Drew was really clear that when you bring others into your relationship, you invite chaos into your relationship. So your relationship needs consent, communication, and respect to begin with. And while many will judge you, if you decided you wanted to play with others, it was a mutual decision, or you wanted to include others in your relationship, that's okay. I'm the guy who says, when you get divorced, you should date two or three women. They don't necessarily need to know each other. But the goal isn't to spend years dating two or three women or your whole life. It's a comparison point. I will tell you that if one partner brings up the polyamory and you're having a lot of problems in your relationship, that is a huge red flag. They are looking for permission to cheat. That's what it comes down to. Okay. If you mutually have the discussion and you are mutually interested, great, fine. It may not be what everyone wants, but there's nothing wrong with it. Whatever two consenting adults agree to is fine. A couple of things to keep in mind. You gotta have boundaries. And even in polyamorous couples, cheating is just as rampant in monogamous couples. Yeah, because there's rules. You can't do this with certain people or you can't, you know, in the friend group. And there is widespread cheating in polyamorous couples. There's all sorts of boundary violations. And becoming polyamorous is not a solution to any relationship problem. I want to be very clear on that. And if your partner is pressuring you, trying to push you into agreeing to this, again, it's not going to solve problems. It's going to cause more. So... Is there anything wrong with having a polyamorous relationship where maybe there's three or four people involved? No, if that works for both of you. It's easier to have that be an existing dynamic at the start of the relationship. To switch from monogamy to polyamory is a little more challenging, I personally believe. But there's nothing to say you can't set up what works for you and society rules be damned. All right, have a great weekend. And if you have any questions on this, feel free to send me a DM. Catch you later.